Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hi, young and active learners. Wishing you all a great day ahead by Dr. A. Vijayamuda Meri, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. So, in this video lecture, we are going to learn another problem in design and analysis of algorithm course. So, the problem is job assignment problem, which we are going to solve by brute force approach. So, first, let me define the problem that is job assignment problem. So, let us consider that there are n people and n jobs. So, each person has to be assigned only one job. So, here the cost incurred is represented by C. So, C equal to C of P comma J. So, here P represents the person and J is the job. So, that is in other words we can say that when the Jth job is assigned to Pth person, the cost incurred is given by C equal to C of P comma J. So, where P ranges from 1 to N and J also ranges from 1 to N. So, the total number of permutations is given by N factorial and this problem we are going to solve by brute force approach. So, we all know that the brute force approach lists all the possible solutions that is it tries to iterate every possibility of the solution. So, this approach is impractical when we take large values of n. So, we can go for brute force approach for small values of n. So, this is an example given for job assignment problem. So, in this example, we have taken three persons and three jobs. So, each person is assigned a job and the cost incurred is also given in the matrix cell. So, let me explain this example. When job 1 is assigned to person 1, the cost incurred is given by 4. So, that is the cost, 4 is the cost. Okay. So, when job 2 is assigned to person 1, so the cost incurred is given by 7. Okay. Similarly, when job 1 is assigned to person 3, so here the cost associated with it is given by 9. So, now we are going to solve this job assignment problem by brute force approach. So, first we are listing all the possible job assignments and then we are splitting into groups and then finally we are going to find the optimal solution. So, what are the different job assignments possible? First let us see that. Okay. So, well, the job assignments are job 1 assigned to person 1, job 2 to person 2 and job 3 to person 3. Okay. Similarly, job 1 is assigned to person 1, job 3 is assigned to person 2 and job 2 is assigned to person 3. And here you can notice that J1 is fixed, that is job 1 is assigned to person 1, that is fixed here. Only the other two uh, columns are changed, isn't it? So, that is J2 is assigned to P2 and here it is J3 is assigned to P2. Okay. So, the job 1 is always fixed to person 1 in group 1. So, here we are splitting into 3 groups. Okay. So, here we have taken 3 persons and 3 jobs. In this case, we will split into 3 groups. So, if we are taking 4 persons and 4 jobs, we have to split it into 4 different groups. Okay. So, now let us come to group 2. So, in group 2, you can observe that job 2 is fixed to person 1 that is fixed and the other two jobs are changed isn't it j1 is assigned to p2 in group 2 and j3 is assigned to p3 okay so in the next job assignment you can see that j3 is assigned to p2 and j1 is assigned to p3 now let us come to group 3 in group 3 j3 is fixed to person 1 see in both the cases j3 is fixed to person 1 the other two jobs okay, are assigned to different persons. That is J1 is assigned to P2 and J2 to P3 in the first job assignment in group 3. And let us consider the second uh, job assignment of group 3. It is J2 is assigned to P2 and J1 is assigned to P3. So, the cost associated with every job assignment is also given here. So, in group 1 for the first job assignment, 
the cost taken is 15. For the second job assignment, the cost incurred is 13. So out of this, the minimum cost is 13. So in group 1, we can say that the minimum cost incurred is 13. So now let us come to group 2. So in group 2, the cost associated with the first job assignment is 16 and the cost associated with the second job assignment is 24. So out of this, the minimum cost taken is 16. So in group 2, the minimum cost incurred is 16. So now uh, let us come to group 3. So in group 3, for the first job assignment, the cost incurred is 6 and for the next job assignment, the cost incurred is 16. So out of this, the minimum one is 6. So now, after listing all the possible job assignments and finding its associated cost, so now in the next step, in each group, we are finding the minimum cost. Okay, so in each group, we are finding the optimum solution. So in group 1, the optimum cost is 13. In group 2, the optimum cost is 16. And in group 3, the optimum cost is 6. Okay, the job assignments and the cost, okay, which are optimum in every group is listed here. So out of this, which is the minimum cost? So that is the final solution. So out, so out of these three, three groups, out of these three groups, we are going to find the optimum cost now. So the less cost is 6. So this is the optimum solution. So this is the optimum solution and the cost incurred is 6. Okay. So the final solution is uh, the job assignment and the optimum cost are listed here. So the job assignment is given by job 3 is, should be assigned to person 1, job 1 should be assigned to person 2 and job 2 should be assigned to person 3. Only then the cost incurred will be less which will be 6. Okay. So the efficiency is given by big O of n factorial. So because if there are n persons and n jobs, the total number of possible job assignments will be n factorial. So in our example, we have taken 3 jobs and 3 persons. So the possible number of job assignments uh, we have listed are 6. So in we have split into three groups. Under each group, there are two job assignments. So, so the total number of job assignments is six. So the efficiency in general is given by big O of n factorial. So if we take four persons and four jobs, so the efficiency will be four factorial, which will be 16. So thank you learners for listening this video very patiently. We'll meet you in the next video lecture. Thank you once again.